Okay, welcome to episode six of Strength Coach Tutorials here on YouTube, um, DSM Strength Channel. For this for this video, we're gonna make a simple athlete max recall chart. So you can see here on the left, I have a chart where I've stored four athlete names as well as their maxes in the bench, squat, and deadlift. This might be used for a powerlifting or strength and conditioning setting. Um, and we're gonna use some of the skills that we've already learned, as well as the formula VLOOKUP to make this happen. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is format this as a table. So we use the format as table. I like this one. Um, use the table has headers so that these headers stay there. Then we're gonna create a named range. So we highlight the name, Control Alt F3, brings up the named range menu and you want to delete the all and just leave it as name Put that in there okay okay and then in this box here we're going to create a drop down menu for the athlete names so we need to use a data validation so we go data data validation um, equals list and then we go equals name which is the name range we just created so now we should be able to recall any of the athlete names here, athlete four, um, athlete three, two, or one. So now we want it when we pull up the athlete name that it automatically indexes their bench squat and their deadlift numbers. So for that, we're going to use a formula called VLOOKUP. So you want to type equals VLOOKUP bracket. And the value we want to look up is the athlete name. So we type this cell and we're going to lock that in so we can drag it. So we'll put a dollar sign in front of both of the letter number, put a bracket, and the table we want to use is table two, which is this table here. And the column we want to index is not the name, but the bench. So that's the second column, so number two, comma, and false because we want an exact match. So we close that bracket off and type it in. It should give us the number, and because we locked in the cell, we should be able to drag this down Oh, so it's not changing the column for us here. So we'll just change that. So we want the third column for squat and the fourth column for deadlift. So now whenever we select an athlete, it should index their different max numbers. And you could use this to create a max sheet or to start to do some percentage-based programming, um, keeping all of your athlete maxes in one box. So thank you. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.